Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolph Beck. Today we are going to speak about speed leveling in New World Aeternum. So you need to remember that level 25 you're gonna get your ores. So you can kind of speed run your quest to level 25 and then when you have your ores then you start doing more side quests. So you see in your world every time you're gonna gather a resource it will not only give you XP for your uh, crafting XP like the gathering XP it's gonna give you XP for your character so taking the resource on the way when you go take a quest is one of the things that you can do that is really beneficial and sometimes there's some big clump of ice up ice up is like purple it's a plant Man, you can just take them to 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 and uh, you see your XP level up. Uh, the, yeah, I, I don't know. Mostly the the herbs. I don't know. When you take them, there's a there's a lot. There's a lot of, uh, everywhere. You just take them. It help. So there's most of the time some tool on the market that are kind of cheap, but kind of high level, but cheap because people don't really need it. You can just buy them at the start. It's gonna help you gather faster. So when you gather something, it's not gonna stop you from going to your quest because if you really have the the first thing to gather it's gonna be long the weapon is one of those big thing in this game for just speed leveling like uh, you need to have a movement weapon because you know everything you're gonna do like taking a quest you're gonna use that ability just to move from one point to another and when you are into the city, you, you can use your ores, but your ores don't have the speed. So if you like put out the hatchet and you do like a berserker, you're going to gain haste and then woo, you're going to go fast. And this is what you need. So uh, let's say that uh, as a melee, you can use the hatchet with almost anything. Hatchet greatsword or hatchet spear would be probably the best. Uh, and then you go, this is a level up guild, I don't say it's gonna be the best when you're gonna be done leveling, alright? Okay, so, uh, if you're a tank, it's gonna be Hatchet SNS, because Hatchet Ace again. Uh, the SNS have more DPS than the Flail too. Uh, and then if you're a mage, rape your fire staff, musket, rape your musket, bow, rape your bow, and then healer, void gauntlet healing staff and if you don't need the healing staff you can go void gauntlet and rapier they both scale of intel so you're gonna be fine but the gear you're gonna get underground gonna be more based of intel if you do an intel build and you were a healer so you kind of want a bit more focus but you're gonna need focus only when you're gonna be max level so who cares okay so now that we spoke about the weapon we're gonna speak a bit about what you need on the weapon uh, there's gonna be some useless perk i said that the leeching gonna be one of the nice thing at the start because of the lack a bit of potion and stuff sometimes you don't want to waste your time crafting low level potion for nothing at the start so having a bit of leeching is good uh, you're gonna fight the mob in face to face it's not like in dungeon that you're gonna have a tank so it's gonna be face to face so Keen is like it's good so like you just go for like simple perk that you know that's gonna work good don't try to like overthink your build you're just loving it up when you're gonna be max level this is gonna be the time to theory craft so uh, the food and the potion are scarce at the start so make sure that when you are on the shore at the start there's some pig around the shore kill a couple pig get some meat and cook it you're gonna, and then you're gonna be fine uh, for a good time in your story because if you lack food at the start uh, I don't know there's some part that it, it's not hard the game is not hard but it's made that you have some food it's a bit there, there was a survival aspect in this game at the start and they kept it for that I guess and it's good all right so don't look for gear uh, try to do the quest mostly in the center of the map mostly when you are before level 40 you just do as much more quests as you can and then uh, the map's gonna open uh, by the top and you're gonna go on the top but like if you go too early it's not good so just speed run the quest and like don't think too much about it you just do as much as you can because those quests are gonna give you gold too it's it's the money in game kind of so just do as much quests as you can and like 
people try are gonna try to skip as many as they can but you're gonna get punished if you do that and it's more like the opposite if you do a lot of quests when you're low level you're gonna be like overkill and then you're gonna go quick into the storyline at the end but if you try to go too quick the game is gonna be overkill overkill you're gonna get stuck then you're gonna have to go back and seek for some quests and the quest is gonna be like really far from each other and I, like you're gonna have to go back on the same path that you took before to just do some side quests it's bad so yeah you don't want to do that uh don't try to level up your weapon to just take two weapon and use them till the end like uh, you're gonna level up your weapon uh, when you're gonna be level 65 when you're gonna meet max level uh, you're gonna go in some place with elite level mob and the elite mob give a lot more XP than some regular mobs so you're gonna go there and level up your XP your weapon in a few hours it's gonna be done instead of slowing up your world process trying a couple weapon while trying to level in so stack resource and make clean storage you're gonna you're gonna see you have multiple storage in every city like you got one storage per city there's a couple cities so like i'm gonna put my armor for mage in one my armor for either in one if i want to if i know i'm gonna do a couple roll i'm gonna just disperse my my gear like this just to make sure to all stack together and hard to find and then you're gonna do the same thing uh okay potion and food in one uh, the mining resource and the other, the crafting resource, and then you just do like a, just an order into your your stuff straight from the start. So you you're gonna remember it at the end, like it, where everything is, and it's gonna be way easier after that to when you're gonna get some reputation into those city. The reputation give you like some bonus and crafting uh, some tax bonus or uh, like when you sell any item and like depending on where is your stuff like okay i have my food there i'm gonna do uh, the crafting reputation bonus instead of the the selling the my main selling city is there it's my gear i'm gonna put it into the selling stuff so yeah it's gonna help you in everything seriously when i made uh, my storage clean and a, a storage uh, for everything it changed a game changer seriously so uh yeah when you the low level crafting you're gonna do is only the potion and the food like don't try to to overthink your gear don't try to craft gear it's a waste of time so the only thing you're gonna get at the start is mostly is up moat and ore and you can kill and take some hide on the way and stuff and just like cumulate and craft for fun but like when you're gonna be max level it's gonna be the time to craft your armor like uh, everything you take you better almost not craft it craft it till you're level 60 and then at level 60 you look a crafting guide and then use those resources properly instead of just wasting it uh so you see if you waste it and then it's, it's bad so uh so the pvp on gonna give you more xp so put pvp on when you're leveling up it's pretty good and there's one thing uh, the low level pvp in mmorpg always been something nice i remember in uh, world of warcraft the first time I, I played world of warcraft i stayed level like i think it was level 19 there was like a uh, warson glitch and then it was possible to do level 19 uh fight in pvp because there was enough level 18 19 just to do a fight and it was crazy and then uh, well, there was one for level like 20 something and then 30 and then like there was some ranking and then that was amazing because you you had the possibility to create some other character and then keep them low level i i love it that aspect but still there is still some low level pvp in your world and i've seen some i did some and it was amazing and fun people are bad and just fight each other with bad build and it's fun so the gemstone dust can help you if you look at this it's gonna give you elemental resistance the oak flesh balm gonna help you it's gonna give you the physical resistance and then the proficiency booster gonna help you when you gather resource so yeah you need all those things in mind to just speed up the process and i want you to tell someone you love them 
and have a good day. Peace out.